Greetings, greetings, everyone. Um, hope all is well with everyone, or may all be well with everyone. With you, your loved ones, um, friends, uh, your your workforce, your job, your business, um, your farmland, everything. May all be well with any and everything righteous, positive that you are doing to grow, to build, um, I say peace, love, light to you all. Uh, Anna, Anna Brandon Dyer, um, Alex Anton Warmington, Nadine Alexander, Sister Cherokee Tulu, much love to you, sis, Anna, Anna. Um, I was not going to touch on, on this, because a lot of people talk occult, but they don't really know what they're talking about, right? And then a lot of people talk occult like they're exposing someone that is occult. And all they're doing is just picking one side off the wing of the same bird just to carry on the same ploy, the same agenda to make it seem like, see, 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 I'm for you, right? Now... <laughs> Let's get into this, yeah? So you have a pastor named Kevin Smith. Now, the first time I heard of uh, I've heard about this pastor was from um two individuals. Yeah. Now I I've been hearing, you know, and seeing videos of people showing folks um in the cemetery covering their cells with uh, white ash powder, um, bathing in the cemetery, um, what they're doing, what they're calling rituals. I'm seeing all these videos, but I've not seen any video of this man doing what they're calling occult activity, right? Now, we're going to get into what he has to do with the whole lockdown and everything that's going on today. I've seen videos of people um, blaming one Labor Party uh, and not the other. I've seen videos of people saying that he's the reason why one political party was in power for so many years and not the other. All those people that made all those videos are either A, in on the propaganda, the foolishness that's going on, or they're just spewing bullshit out their mouth and they don't know what they're talking about. Period. My thing is, if you're going to speak truth or speak what you believe is truth, yeah? Be genuine with it. Don't be deceptive. Be honest. Right? If you're going to just speak on things because you're trying to make one side look bad over the other, when both sides have done no good for the people. And this is what I'll be talking about when I say that um, people who are involved in politics, yeah, people who are involved in politics, and pass down that way of thought to their children, especially in the islands, have imprisoned themselves mentally and have locked themselves into a caste system from each other. When you're on a land where people know it's election time, so you can't wear, and I've said this before, you can't wear green in this neighborhood because that's, a, that's one of the political party's colors. You can't wear orange in this neighborhood because that's a different political party power. Yeah, And you can't wear these colors because they're going to kill you. So you're killing people over colors. And you're killing people over the political party that they choose to align themselves with. But folks always mix, miss the bigger picture. Two parties 
Well, it's really three parties, but the third party's just gone in the wind. Two parties, right? Well, what building do they reside in? Both parties reside in the same building. So it's two wings on the same bird. Meaning that these people party together. These people eat dinner together. These people have lunch together. These people, when they go home and they're making phone calls, they're making phone calls to each other. Understand? So if we're going to speak truth, speak it all the way. Neither the PMP or the Labor Right Party has done any good for what they call Jamaica, but it's, you know, original name is Zamaka or Shamaika. It depends on your pronunciation. Neither party has done any good. It's like here in the States, the Republican and the Democratic Party. Two wings on the same bird. Sometimes you'll say one is the lesser of the evils, right? Evil is evil. I, I used to find myself saying that. But you know what? Evil is evil. But you must ask yourself, how well do you know the world that you live in? How well do you know the island that you live on? How well do you know the people around you? How well? Have you been listening to the messages that folks have been giving you out there? And have you followed up to research and look into what these people were saying? Why would people need a certain individual or group of people out of the way? Why? Why did the Secretary of Defense, why did Horace Chang personally came down to the site of where they said that Kevin Smith was killed? Assassinated, I say. Huh? What is sacrifice? What is blood sacrifice? Who has something to hide? What has been going on in the world today? What is this man to the church? What is the church involvement in politics? What has been the church's involvement in the occultic world? What has it been? People don't ask these questions. That man was assassinated. And I'm going to play some audios. And that man was assassinated because he was telling you what is coming and what's going on. Now, when I first heard of this man, I heard that he, his church was a church where he was trying to wake up the minds of people about um, MK Ultra, um, Agent Orange, uh, um, Operation Dragonfly, these things. You know, mind manipulation and stuff like that. Um, Bioengineering attacks, weapons, um, the role that the Jamaica government has to play in these things, what the shutdowns mean and why they're doing the shutdowns. These are the things this man was talking about, right? So I'm not saying that he wasn't doing the things that they claim that he was doing, and I'm not saying that he was. I'm just saying for what I have forehand right now, coming straight from the horse's mouth in these recordings here. Now, what people don't understand about the occult is this. Yeah? Your mother and your father could be a part of the occult and you will never know it until they deem you ready and they recruit you in. Okay? Your next door neighbor could be in it and you will never know. Mind you, you're born in that neighborhood. You grew up in that neighborhood. You know, you know Miss Sharon for 
your whole life, Miss Sharon, um, children, Miss Sharon's grandchildren, great grandchildren. You know all of them. You know her as a, as a sweet little old lady, always inviting you over to dinner. You know, being nice, being kind to you. You see her do many charities. She go out there. She give food to the homeless. She put she she do clothing drives. All of that. But you didn't know that Miss Sharon was a part of the whole behind the scenes Masonic Eastern Star world and rituals. You didn't know these things, right? And when you're a part of these societies, and these societies are holding to the Vatican, and the Vatican is holding to, oh, nobody. These societies are holding to the Vatican. And the Vatican controls all the churches, every single church. Yeah? They're all under the order of the Vatican. When your pastor becomes a bishop, your pastor has to get the permission from the Vatican. That's where it comes down from. The Vatican is also one with the Muslim faith. The Vatican is also one with the Hebrew faith. You understand? They're not really different. They're one and the same thing. They're not really different. They've just been chopped up in subgroups as a means of conquering the minds of the people. Okay? In your Bible, it tells you about the sacrificial lamb. The sacrificial lamb. They said that this man was sacrificing cows. Well, in the occult world, yeah, not even in the occult world, in the world period, in the spiritual world period, if you're making an offering, you have to balance the scales. A life for a life or a life for the offering for what it is that you're asking for. So it means you could take the energy of a plant and offer up that, the plant itself. You could take a fruit and offer up that, the fruit itself. You could take a song and offer up that, the song itself, because the song is vibration, it's frequency, it's energy. You understand? You could take a cow, and offer up that. But if you started the ritual, yeah, just like when they tell you if you don't know how to pray, they tell you in the churches, if you don't know how to pray, it, it, it won't be as powerful. You have to know how to pray. And then you have to go through a whole bunch of learning, teachings, classes to learn how to properly pray. And in the church, you have to know how to give up offerings. Huh? And if you don't know how to give up the offering properly, it's not really heard, ain't it? So they said that this man was doing a ritual with this with a girl, and she was supposed to sacrifice a cow, and she didn't. Right? So the spirit was upset, had to appease the spirit. Well, when God sent the devil to go kill Lot's family, if the devil didn't do it, God would have struck back on the devil. Do you understand? And they say God is what? A spirit. The grand, the great, the supreme spirit of the all, right? Yes or no? So she didn't kill the cow. So whatever spirit that they were praying to or that they were making an offering to on the behalf of her, it was on the behalf of her. He was doing it for her. She asked for something. He said, okay. Allegedly, he said, okay, this is the way you're going to be able to get it. Let's go get into it. Let's do it. The process started. She stopped in the midst of the process. People, some people out there don't believe in spirits, but spirits are energy, so on and so on and so. Yeah? That spirit is upset. You got to appease it. There's a contract. The world is a contractual world. You meet a woman today, 
you're talking to her, she agrees to go on a date with you, that's a contract. Y'all get married, that's another contract. You have kids, that's a lifetime contract. You understand? So you made a contract with this, with this entity. You're supposed to fulfill it. Now, because he's the one that brought her before this entity, it has to be fulfilled. It's either they're going to kill the cow, but she, she booked, she boogied, she ran away, she left. So that entity is going to go after her and for her life. Or if not, it's going to go after him and his life. You understand? This is how these things work. She was supposed to finish it. Me now, because she didn't go and finish it, I'm saying she went there purposely not to finish it to put this man in jeopardy if this thing took place and she was an agent that went there because he's also part of the Masonic world, but because he started talking certain things, they decided it's time to put him down. But a man of his stature, they needed a real reason, a big reason to put him down, something that the people are very ignorant to because the people feel like all Bible thumpers are righteous and so on and so so, and they and they and they think that when they see you sacrificing a cow or a goat or whatever, that you're a devil worshiper behind the scenes. And none of that shit is true. Doesn't mean that you're a devil worshiper. You gotta go back to the oldest, the oldest form of worship comes from what they call voodoo. And all these religions come from that. And all these bishops, these pastors, these politicians. These actors, these producers, these athletes, singers, they all practice that shit behind the scenes. These nuns, these imams, these rabbis, all practice it behind the scenes. All of them. You see Chronic Law with his chain with the compass and the square and the G in the middle? That's a Masonic chain. Hmm? You see them talk about six and six and six. That's Masonic. That's a cult. You see them wearing the, you see Miss Kitty and them wearing the leopard dots and the leopard dresses. That's a sex kitten club. That's a cult. Part of the same world. They all have to give up something. You see Tommy Lee is in, in prison right now, can't come out because he had to give up something and he didn't. So that's why they keep harassing him. He didn't give up something. That's why you see the police them keep messing with him. You see Vibes Cartel in prison? is a sacrificial lamb. He gave up many things. You understand? They're all a part of it. Understand this. Your pastor down the street, they have to be. Okay? Because in order for them to move up in degrees and certain knowledge, they have to be a part of this thing. Their job is to woo you, pull you in to the lifestyle. You see when they bleaching and lightening out their skin, that's all a cult. And they'll try to tell you, no, it's nothing. I'm not bleaching. It's just that if you know anything about melanin, when you're in cool weather, your, uh, um, your skin lightens up. But when you go back in the sun, it darkens up. But when you're in the sun, you're not even darkening up. You're still light, motherfucker. You went from charcoal to fucking bright white. You understand? Like, people are stupid. Those are all rituals. They're all rituals. All You see these basketball players, these football players, these soccer players. They're all in on it. So when you hear some of them talk about, oh, I'm sick, I got COVID. COVID is the biggest ritual of all. And COVID right now is the biggest um, blood sacrifice and biggest money ritual going on. COVID. OK. If you don't understand what the meaning of COVID is, what the number 19 in COVID means. Hmm? What COVID means backwards and it goes back into the Hebrew faith, into the rabbis. Hmm? It goes back into the Christ, the Christ mind, that Christ child. Then you don't know what a cult is. <clears throat> now, I say <clears throat> this man was set up. And he was set up because he was talking to things and he knows too much about all these dirty politicians, PMP and labor right. 
down there, which is also connected to the U.S. Okay, which goes back to the crown. And because he was such a high profile member of the church community, he has a world of information on all these suckers. And he knows all of this stuff that's going on is fake. And it's just to shut you down because now they're implementing that mark on you, where it's that digital mark to lock you into a digital system where computers and robotics are going to take over a majority of everything. And you are going to be the lambs, the sacrificial lambs for slaughter because they're going to say, well, we're going to have to pass what is called vagabond laws. You know what a vagabond law is? Because they used to have this in England. This was in Europe. People who can't get a job, people who can't get a job, they call you vagabonds and that now you have no use to society. So they're going to disappear you. It's like in New York when I believe it was um, Giuliani. No, Bloomberg, when he took all those buses of homeless people, shipped them out of New York, and nobody knows where they are to this very day. They disappeared. No one knows where they are. You understand? These are all vagabond laws that are still secretly going on. That you guys don't know about. The mask mandate, all these things, all of these things, it's right in front of you. All these things. You see your, your, your favorite TV host and radio host and artists and all these things. And you can say, well, no, nah, they, they, this person, they, they're, they're not a part of it. They did so many charity. They did so many good. Your fraternities and your sororities, they're built on doing charity. How, how else will the devil come in your house? If you see the devil coming and knock on your door, you're not going to let him in because you know that's the devil, right? So he has to have on a different face. That more man, you got that more man person walking through your neighborhood, huh? that missionary coming up in your neighborhood. And then boom, 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 you see all these children going missing. Hmm? All these children going missing. All these females being found in the woods with stab wounds all over them. And you're like, oh, they were just murdered by their cousin. No, no, no. The stab wounds is to cover up the fact that they took out their organs. That's the stab wounds. Oh, they were raped. No, no, no. It's to cover up the fact that it was a ritual, it was a sacrifice. Then you don't ask the question, in what countries are these things practiced the most? And who, who are the peoples in your, on your, in your country now while this thing is going on? China, they buy baby, baby corpse from the morgue to cook and eat. When they had the one child limit and the person would have two children, they would kill that baby and cook it and eat it. Yeah, this is not no, no conspiracy, nothing. They had so many uh, uh, um, documentaries out on this stuff that they showed you this up until last year, year before last, before they started censoring all this stuff. You understand? The, the folks in the Middle East, they do the most. You have all these Middle Eastern folks. You have these Hindu people in your place. All these foreign people. All the, Jamaica has a shitload of Jews. You hear them talk about the Muslim, the Muslim, the Muslim, the Muslim, the Muslims in every other country, but you don't hear them talk about the Jews that's been into these places from the 1600s. These are the folks who are orchestrating all of this. Then you ask who are their children because they mixed in with you and their children are the ones that, that you voted or elected to sit in the halls of politics. The prime ministers, the governor generals, the Supreme Court justices, governors, mayors, the head of the union reps,
So when we're talking occult, don't act like you're surprised when you hear some pastor is a part of the occult world when all of you, damn near all of you do it. How many of you put the money between your Bible or the green line behind your door? Hmm? Like, come on, cut it out. Let's be real here. But the child sacrifice, the ratio of boys and, and young boys and young girls that go missing for child sacrifice, for sex trafficking, that's your foreigners that you invited on your land that the politicians of brokers deals with. That's them. And they go into the poorest community and they find someone that's dirt poor, starving, hungry. Someone that they could convince to sell out their own people. Build them up into a power uh, um, structure where they're now known as the area leader or the don of the community. And then boom, who knows the community better than them? Who knows how to grab a child and have a child disappear than them without anyone noticing until it's too late? And then people will figure out that's who and be too afraid. And who is this person taking the child to? Who is this person taking the woman to? Who is this person taking the organs to? Those same Jews, those same Muslims that are foreign to your land, those same Syrians and Saudis, Chinese, those same, um, what you are now calling today Mexicans. Mexico has the, is the number one, is number one for organ harvesting. They make about $50 billion a year. All these people are on your land and in positions of power. So what happens now when you have these people who are in positions of power that don't like you? They need a way to control, take over. So they're going to subjugate you, lock down, lock down, lock down. When they have your politicians in their pocket, shut down, shut down, kill the economy, starve them out, starve them out. Make them even more desperate. Yeah? Now, let me play one of these audios and then I'm going to get it to the next one. This is Kevin Smith, the pastor that they're talking about. Listen to what this man is saying. a driver's license which has an image on it why would you remove a health card uh, which has an image on it to give you a one a new id that has no image but just a qr code mm. wake up so the world as you know it is now 10 regions uh, on the 7th of september africa the union and caracom joined together as one and the Oceania and the other parts of the world, they have become one. So we have now 10 regions governed by the G7, which is Japan, uh, Canada, United States, etc. So the G7, what ruling over the 10 regions. And above the G7, of course, is Lucifer and all of the, these different um, persons. So now when Canada removes driver's license, and that you have to have the QR code to have a driver's license, you will not be able to drive unless, this is what they're telling you, inadvertently, without the, the joke, which gives you the QR code certificate, you will not be able to renew your driver's license, therefore you will not be able to drive your car. Are you catching it? Can't drive your car? Uh, so Canada is going to go all over the world, even to Jamaica. That's why Jamaica was trying to bring in NIDS, so that but they didn't put it in a way that the Jamaican people would accept it. But now with uh, the brainwashing from the last year to now, they're now people just thinking that if they give in, they go back to normal. You don't go back to normal, you die. So the driver's license, the health card in Canada, your passport will all be connected to the QR code and your cash, your bank account. It's the cryptocurrency. There will be no more cash. Cash will crash. 
And so this is happening this month of October for Canada. They're going to roll out no more driver's license in Canada. October, November, they're rolling it out. No more driver's license, no more health card. Um, and of course, by next year, no more passport. So travel will be with, without, you see all those people who are working at the airport now that think people need them, you will be replaced. There will be no need for you to be there. I was in Italy two years ago and I just scanned the microchip in my Canadian passport and the, the door opened, a lady just stamped in it. She didn't even look in the book, just asked me for a, a page for her to stamp and I left. And I said, why this is strange? No one spoke to me. No one asked me why am I there? Because that's not what it is now. The world is changing. And they have been doing the test run in Italy and in Europe in these countries where you just go through this little glass booth. And you stand, stand in and it takes a, it scans your face. When I was in South Africa, uh, the same uh, scenario applied. Something scans your face and you go through. It, and it, No, sorry. When I was in Australia, that's the same thing I experienced in Australia and in Italy. And so what you need to understand, ladies and gentlemen, is that this is it. So you cannot renew your license. Those of you who have not paid up your land taxes, one of the ways to catch you is the fact that you have not paid your land taxes, then they have the right now to come and take over your property. So you have to pay your land taxes years in advance. I know this is really intense. You did not follow the signs and therefore you miss the seven year of prosperity. When the government of Jamaica told you of prosperity, four years, it was true, but now that time of prosperity comes to an end, September the 22nd, and the time of famine and hardship like this world has never known or seen before in the history of humankind, this is what's happening. So in order for you to get this QR code, all right, why is Britain going into contracts with, um, funeral parlors for four years to store mass bodies because they know that the people are going to die like flies. Listen to me and wake up. They have camps all around the world. They are building camps. In Jamaica, you think the soldiers are building this camp up, up in um, the in Montego Bay in different locations and in Kingston, they're building camps. For who? For the dead bodies because when people start to see the dead bodies that are piling up, they're going to start to retaliate and they have no the lockdown is put in place so you're locked into an area and you cannot leave that area so this little play this game that you think you're playing that you'll be able to go in downtown or you go up to kingston as you have a feel it is not going to happen they're going to ban you from traveling and moving and everything else until they have taken away all their liberties if you don't wake up right now and understand the time that you're in you know think it's joking time if you don't know who your god is now you will not know then when all we have kill you and, and, and water the pipes. Listen, imagine now there's no more JPS and no more NWC. And in order for you to get water and food, you have to go and show the mark. They're going to be controlling the water supply and the light. Are you hearing me? You, you will not be able to pay your bills because you don't have the QR code because cash will be removed and the QR code will become your cash. Those of you sitting down saying you will wait and see. Matt Tillis said you will see it with your eye, but you shall not eat there. Because you will, at the time that you think you will see to eat of it, you will die. This is the time to set your house in order, to put your affairs in order. When they, when they realize that people are waking up, even those who have received their mark, they're going to interfere with your emotions. To you want to hear a voice talking to you in your mind. That's the technology they have now. It's a weapon that they have. <clears throat> a voice will be speaking in your head. Just like when someone becomes schizophrenic, they so they hear a voice and start doing crazy things. This is what is going to happen. The technology that's on the inside of you will allow them to speak into your head by the frequency. Just like how your phone picks up frequencies and you can hear a call, so it's the same. The person becomes an antenna. I have warned. I have warned. I have warned. Noah warned. So today... I am warning. I'm warning. I am warning. Wake up. Gasoline. You cannot, there's a time coming you won't be able to first 
by gasoline unless you have the QR code and you can't get the QR code. You will not be able to go to the hospital without the QR code. The hospitals now are designed. The doctors only come in to pass that you're dead. They don't come to assist you. They have received instructions for you to die. The, 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 the medication they're giving you for $197,000, whether it's severe or whatever, that's going to cause kidney failure. You're going to die. And they attribute every death is attributed to the C, the big C, when really every death that is happening now is to be attributed to the joke that you are receiving. I have warned. I hope you will listen and I hope you will understand in Jesus' name. Come on now. Now, he said the government. He didn't say PMP. He didn't say labor right. He didn't say Democrat. He didn't say Republican. The government, meaning the government on a whole, all parties are involved in this. All. Okay, so again, what are people talking about when they when they're trying to mark this man as some ritualist, right? Who are these people talking? And when these people are talking, when they when they're talking about this man and they're showing favor to one party over the other, that is called and political agenda. You understand? Conflict of interest. Right? Now, let's go to the airports, what he said about the airports. Let's go to the post office service first. So, where, where I'm at, yeah, Packages are being slowed up. They're telling you it's because of the big C. And you know what the big C is, the vid. And that's what he was talking about, the big C, right? Packages are slowed up. But mind you, postal workers don't have interactions, physical interactions with the public. They're behind uh, uh, um, uh, a station. And nine times out of 10, it has big plexiglasses up there. You have the you have the package sorters, okay, and you have the people that's behind closed doors that receives your letters. So they're not interacting with you. So why is it that there's a shortage of postal workers? Hmm? Slowing up of the mail, and there's a there's there's postal laws against that purposely, uh, uh, uh tampering with the mail. That's a federal offense. Now. When you go and you research what's happened with the post office here in, in the states, you realize that next year they plan on having 45 new facilities, which they have already started building. And those new facilities will be more robotic controlled than people. So all you people who are ignorant in thought, and when folks are trying to give you the heads up that this is what's coming and you're going to be out of a job and you're saying, oh, it's because you just don't want to go get the vaccine. You're going to feel. And you're going to learn when next year comes and a lot of you guys don't have any form of jobs. No means to take care of your children and these things because these people don't care. If you have three, four, five, 10, 15 children, they don't give a shit. They only care about the fact that they don't have to pay you because robots don't need money. You understand? Call a technician if the robot goes down, boop, 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 he fixes it. Go order back a part, replace back a part. It's back up and running. Robots don't need vacation. Maternity leave. None of these things. Now we go to the airport. You're standing online now <clears throat> three, four, five hours to go on one plane. Massive shortage of workers. You hear what the man said that's going on in the airports and other sides of the world? You just go and you scan your face and you scan your card and you go on the plane. It's not even a person there to greet you anymore. You know how many jobs have been lost because of that technology? Hmm? And mind you, they call 
the genome therapy, the mRNA, and the, and the CRISPR system that they use in these COVID jabs, technology. So when they use the word technology, do you know what technology means? Hmm? Something that has been created, something synthetic, not organic, something dealing with robotics, okay? Do you know all the ingredients that's in this jab? Do you know that some of the ingredients goes hand in hand with a technology that Elon Musk has been working on to, to um, wirelessly hook up people to the 5G frequency, the ethernet? Have you not seen people putting chips in their arms where they have the chip in their arm and they can literally pull up their cell phone and all sorts of stuff? Literally scan their wrist at the register to pay for a payment for something. But all of that has to be stored. What company is storing it? Who controls that company? Hmm? Just like how when we have our platforms here and we're speaking truth and we're speaking and breaking down our history, they can use the push of a button to delete our videos, the push of a button to delete our subscribers the push of a button to delete the, the, the amount of viewers that the video actually have to block the comments, the likes or the dislikes, the push of a button. It's the same thing they could do if, if you're one of those people that believe in having your rights. They could shut down that chip and shut down your card and lock you out of everything and you won't get back access to it. It's called control. No more autonomy. Okay. Worldwide control. Now, when you hear them talking about carbon and these things, when you hear them, all right. If you watch these movies, now these movies show every every villain, every demon is dark, the black blood, the dark one. Um, you see the, the villain dressed in either black or dark red or dark blue. Okay. Now, this is where your MK Ultra, your visual brainwashing is coming in because they have to teach their next generation coming up that you're the bad guy. Don't feel sorry for them because we're wiping them out. Why are we wiping them out? Because they are the first people. Melanated people are the first people on this entire planet. Let me see if I can play the other audio. Let me see if this is the next audio. Which one is this? Is this it? Um, I, have, I believe it was two I had. Let me see if this is it. One second, y'all. It's taking a little... I think this was I think this was another one. One second. People in Here Barbados, all the heads of state in Caracom are now in Barbados with um, Prime Minister Mia Motley um, and they're there discussing climate change. I'm trying to explain to you all what is climate change. It is to put in place their agreement for the population. So now all of the leaders have come together to receive their instructions on the next wave. Israel, they got their um, uh, so-called two injections, which made them uh, fully V. Then they told them they need a third injection, then a fourth. And that and if everybody in Israel who already took the um, two and the three, they now voided that mark of the beast QR code, digital certificate that they no longer can use it, travel, or leave. What's happening over in um, New Zealand or Auckland, 1.7 million people in Auckland right now, it's being decided if they're going to shut them, uh, lock them off from leaving Auckland, 1.7 million. So they're shutting down with military in 
up in New Zealand. Nobody can leave, nobody can fly out because they're using the excuse that the fourth wave or Delta wave is happening in Auckland, New Zealand. So worldwide, there is a, sh a shutdown. Uh, so people cannot say what is happening to each other. And it, WhatsApp has been shut off. So the Instagram has been shut off. And the Facebook has been shut off. And what is also happening in Barbados in the Caribbean today, October the 4th, 2021, all the prime ministers of the Caribbean are present from Trinidad, Jamaica, uh, Guyana, uh, Suriname, Dominican Republic, um, every prime minister in the Caribbean as a part of CARICOM are now in meeting in a closed session, private meetings. But they're saying it's called climate change. What is climate change? It means that they believe that the resources of the world are being depleted and they have to bring down the carbon eaters, which is human beings to a now, remember, we are carbonated beings. Melanated people, dark-skinned people, we are carbonated beings. You understand? This is why you hear them say, the African-American community, oh, the African community, or uh, 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 the, the West Indian community are uh, 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 the, uh, the, uh, the hardest hit. Are the hardest hit. Yeah? Now, what the military is doing and companies that's contracted with the military is doing right they are now giving out documentations for people to fill out questionnaires uh, if they had a jab or not um and then telling them that they 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 will have exemption documents but they have not given them any exemption documents mind you they have until november 22nd i think to make up to, to get their paperwork in, and they have not given anyone any of these paperwork. You understand? Now, these all of these documents is for COVID-19. But you heard what he just mentioned about the Delta and the Mu wave, right? So COVID is the first wave, Delta is the second wave, Mu is the third. Now they're telling you that there's a fourth wave. So what is the name of the fourth, the fourth wave that's coming in? But they're here. They're jabbing you up for COVID-19 and they're not preparing you for Delta because none of these stuff exists. What you're being injected with is a trial. It's an experimental um, technology that they've been working on for more than 40 plus years. More than 40 plus years. So now they're putting it to work now out there in the public massively. They've always been doing it. Had a flu shot. Now, how many, ask yourself, how many of the people who died were the ones that received the flu shots from 2002 to 2007? From this vid. Because you know that the CDC has been tracking those, those people who have done the flu shots from 2002 to 2007. Till this very day. Tracking them. Oh. It's on the FDA website. FDA and the CDC have been tracking these people. Why would they want to do that? Why would they do that? Hmm? The same technology that's in the vid vaccines, what they call it a vaccine now. It's the same thing that's in those flu shots. They put something in there that stays dormant in your body for 10 to 20 years. And then when it wakes up, it infects you with something. The thing is, their whole story is so all over the place now. So all over the place now because whatever it is that they were planning was not working how it was supposed to work on the human body. It was only affecting those who are immunodeficient. Immunodeficient means that your loved one was already sick. You understand? Your loved one was already sick. They probably got AIDS. They probably got cancer, which is a rotavirus. They said COVID is a rotavirus. SARS-CoV-2 is a rotavirus. Cancer is a rotavirus. It's portions of the common cold is a rotavirus. <clears throat> you understand? Parts of the flu is a rotavirus. Like, so when you're going to go do your antibody testing and all these things, and it says, oh, yeah, you know, fully immune from COVID, it shows that. But you can't tell the difference from it and the common cold when you're doing those testing. Can't. 
can't tell the difference. Now, when you go and you do more research, you realize that the same companies that's doing the testing, they're owned by third and fourth party companies that's also owned by Pfizer, Binotech, Merck, Johnson & Johnson, and Jensen. They're owned. So the very company that created the supposed jab owns the companies that's doing the testing. Then when you look into the medical facilities, who are their number one donors? It's the same companies that created the jab who are the number one donors in the hot in the public hospitals, these private doctors that's going for this whole stuff. They're their number one donors. How well did you research before you went and stuck your arm out? A lot of you guys went and stuck your arm out because you just wanted to travel. You wanted to go to Dubai because tickets are very cheap now. Yeah, one of the reasons why this thing is still going on the way it is. And to show you that they don't look at you as being the same as them. The construction union, they're protesting. The police, the police union, they're protesting. The EMTs, they're protesting. But they're not protesting with you. Their protest is separate. They're not protesting with you. You know why? Because they know that when you're protesting, that those same companies, those same prime ministers and governor generals and presidents and governors and mayors hire crisis actors to go in the crowd to be violent. Okay? They know this because they're informed about this. They know that there's private detectives and stuff in the crowd that are also throwing bottles and bricks. And these things. They protest, they don't protest with you. New York City police officers and EMT workers protesting. They didn't protest with none of the, 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 the civilian population. This stuff was separate. Because they still don't look at you as the same as them. And because they are part of that occultic organization predominantly. It's like the Jersey police force. 98% of them are Masonic. Down to even a postal union, the postal workers. To get a job working for the state or the federal government, you have to be in, in that organization, nine out of 10. Or you have to know someone that's already in it that will vouch for you to go in it, to get a job. Okay. Now they talk about the child sacrifice. You have the people who are calling themselves Tainos down there. You have folks in other islands saying that from they showed up on their line on their land that their children have been going missing. You see the cacique, the guy that they call Kalan on his Facebook page. He had a picture with a red handprint over his face. Well, that red handprint, you saw Jay Z also took pictures with a little boy with red handprints on the white sweater that he had on. And then in some of the movies, you're seeing this red handprint with the blood. Well, that represents organ harvesting and child sacrifice. That's what that represents in the occultic world. So when you're speaking of the occult, know what you're talking about. You'll see the, the triangle with the, with the swivels, the circles in the middle, like a hypnotic circle or a bullseye. Occultic goes into pedophilia, child trafficking, sex trafficking, these things. You have a Taino book that was written with the little characters on the front, and that's all that's on the front of it, on their bellies and stuff. You see the, the symbol of the butterfly that a lot of these reggae artists are getting these tattoos now. You're thinking nothing of it. Or what the other girl called, Ivani, the one that always keep getting into trouble, scamming, she got shot, all that. Why do you think that girl is like that? When she was a young girl, they brought her in that community and they passed her around. So she's acting out. She knows all their secrets. That's why she always get off with a lot of stuff that she does. Look, 
all them tattoos. You see Vibes. <clears throat> Vibes got the tattoo of the pyramid and the eye. Vibes called Tell even shows you his little Masonic ring in his videos. You people think you know. You have no idea what's been going on before you were even born. Majority of this stuff comes through your religious organizations. It's come through your churches. It comes through your mosque. It comes through your synagogues. Now you have them here telling you that they're going to redefine what fully vaccinated means. The CDC is going to redefine what fully vaccinated means. The CDC is passing down guidelines and mandates like they're the judicial, like they're the legislative branch. They have no authority to do so. So when your job tells you what the CDC said, the CDC don't make laws. You understand? And the law is there, the Constitution, especially if you read that 14th Amendment. The law is already there, the ICCPR. The law is already there, UNDRIP, ADRIP. The law is already there, the Nuremberg Code of 1947. It's they're already there. That shows you straight up that these people are violating and breaking the law and committed treason. Treason on the highest level. But they're getting away with it because there's a lot of people in the world that's a part of their organization. And they all got secrets on each other. And a man will watch an entire village burn to protect his secret. You understand? I got a cousin that told a lie. Yeah. Got called out on the lie by my mother. Got proven that it's a lie. Yeah. And still to this very day, still sticking to the lie, even though everybody knows now it's a lie. Everybody's seen the proof that it's a lie and still have the nerve to be holding a grudge and stop talking to the entire family off of her lie. It wasn't a minor lie. It was a serious lie that could have caused another family member their life. Do you understand? So you have people out there that is like that. Will they be your friend? Will they be your neighbor? Will they be your own blood? In a stand. What your issue is, you said, and the masses have had the hell scared out of them. Well, scare is, fear is to cripple you. Fear cripples you. If you are afraid, you're going to be crippled. If I hire you to do a job, yeah, I hire you to work for my business, and then you are going to turn around and take control of my business, even though you're still an employee, your paperwork still has you as an employee, and I'm going to sit there and have you run and control my business. Well, you supposedly voted these people into office. That means they work for you. And you're sitting there and having them tell you, you can't move from point A to point B. You can't go to this location. You can't go to that location. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't travel. No, no, no. And if you travel and you come back, you know what? If you're going on vacation, you're going to have to sit down for two weeks in your one-week vacation. What? Oh, but you know what? This time, you know what? No, 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 no. You could travel. You could travel. Because why? It's, it's, it's a particular quarter of the fiscal year for businesses to raise, to pump. Pump means that they need to gain a substantial amount of money at certain times of the year. And then they dump. You understand? So it's called a pump and dump. Dump is when now they need to, 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 to wash, flush out a substantial amount of money. Okay. And it's because the average person don't realize that this is how the world works.
period. The same companies that made these vaccines are the same companies that paid for your politicians' campaign. Are the same companies that paid for your mainstream news stations to stay on the air. So do you really think these people are going to say, oh, no, you can't trust them. Oh, no. And they, oh, no, it's not that it's not safe. It's safe. It's safe. Yes, yes, yes. The jab is safe. Because once your politician took money from a corporation or persons that own a corporation, that was a public bribe in your face. They took bribery. You understand? That's an impeachable offense and an offense by to, that they should be locked up for. But you don't know this. You're saying, oh, no, no, no. They were just donating to the campaign. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? If I'm a multi-billionaire, yeah, and I put $60 million in your campaign, you better do what the fuck I want you to do when you get into office. Or else everything that I created, everything that I funded, and put your name on it to make you look good, I'm going to flush that down the drain and cripple you. Pay attention. When one person in the cult starts speaking out, they hold a meeting. And when they hold that meeting, it's time for that person to go. And they just got rid of that man. All they did was got rid of that pastor. He, start, he started talking too much. And the church is the first to be informed on everything that is going down. Because when these businessmen are sitting around that table, your bishop, your bishop, your cardinal, and your pope are sitting there too. Your imam, your rabbi is sitting there too. So they know what it is. You heard him talk about starvation? Well, here in the States, they've already started. The government pays farmers millions of dollars to destroy more than half their crops. That's a food shortage that they've created. Here in the States, since a lot of people have started going into organic eating, exercising and stuff, they started burning down a lot of farmland, a lot of forestry, billions of acres. Do you know what that heat does to the atmosphere? Especially when the rain season comes in, along with what they call cloud seeding. Hmm? It will take a, 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 um, a minimal rain. Uh, yeah? If it's supposed to have light rain today, it will turn it into a Category 3 or 4 hurricane. Then they'll tell you it's because of global warming, but they're the ones creating it. Otherwise, from that, every 20 to 40 years, the Earth naturally warms up by itself and then cools back down. It's a process that the earth goes through when it needs to purge unwanted parasitic uh, um, substances from it. Okay. That's what it goes through. Wake up, people. You must know the world that you live in. You must know the people that are around you. You can know somebody for 30 years and don't really know them. Do not count out the possibility that someone is capable of anything. Always keep that in the back of your head. Period. It could be your own child. It could be your own mother. It could be yourself. Everything that you're seeing happening has been orchestrated. One big mega plan. And the fact that Saudi Arabia's oil wells have gone empty, they need the oils of the Caribbean. They need the oils of North America, hence the North Dakota pipeline. 
okay? How many of y'all know what's been going on astrologically right now up in the sky? Have y'all been paying attention? Have you been researching what's been going on with the northern lights, the solar flares that's been going on? Have you been researching your own existence and what does that have to do with you? How does it empower you? A lot of y'all been searching for God, the most high, the great spirit all your life, and it's always been around you. Have you asked yourself, why do they spray the chemtrails in these um, cloud, these these fake cloud creating factories to block out the sky so that you can no longer have proper visual of it. Hmm? One time you look up in the sky, you see billions and billions and trillions of stars. Now you're lucky if you see one and two. You hear him talk about the water, them controlling the water. Well, for the past 20 something years, they've been putting chemicals in the water that create what is called hard water. Hard water. It coats your lungs, it coats your your um your ear tubes, it coats your throat, it gives you cancer, it gives you all sorts of stuff, cause brain damage, all these things. Hard water. See your drinking water. You ever cut got water from the pipe and boiled it? And when you boil it all the way down in the pot till it disappears, turn the stove off, give it a few minutes to cool down, you come back. You rub your hand in the pot, you see all this white powder in there. They've been doing that. That's hard water. So it's not like it's something that just started happening. These people were, had already been poisoning you so that they could sell more bottled water. Now you're finding out that the bottled water is pipe water that they hooked up to a massive osmosis water supply, water on um, filtration system to filter out all those components and say, here, here's some Poland spring water, what it means to be from Maine. <laughs> huh? Here's some smart water. Here, here's some Fiji water. We Here's some Fiji water. That's really pipe water that's, that, that's been well filtered and had a little fruit spritzers in it and sell it back to you. Something that the Most High created for you to have for free. It's selling it back to you. What is the power of water? Water also provides electricity. Electricity. Water. Water can be used to power an entire city, an entire town, an entire village. Water. How well do you know the sciences? You sit there and you let your parents throw a ball in your hand and then you're, you, you're pushed to believe that the only way out is to become some form of athlete where damn near less than 5% of you make it. But you push that before learning these type of things. Biochemistry, these things. Hmm? Why do why you think when some of these folks go and become biochemists, the government put a lockdown on them that they can't go nowhere else. They can't, they can't teach anyone outside of the governmental facilities because that's how you learn how to make weapons and you learn how to clean a lake that is highly polluted, how to clean the ocean that is highly polluted, how to clean the, 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 the very um, radiation that's within the soil that they've been pumping in soils and dumping for years. You learn these things. So they put you on and need an NDA and a contract to shut you up. The world <clears throat> has so much out there that you need to know. But right now, the first thing you need to know is your fundamental rights, laws. You need to know what the ICCPR is. You need to know what the Constitution is. For those who are on the mainland, the mainland Constitution. For those who are on the islands, read your island Constitution. Right now, if you read the Jamaica Constitution, it lets you know that what the, what the Prime Minister and the Governor General is doing is breaking the law, the straight violation of the law, period. 
the Nuremberg Code of 1947. Must know that. What is undrip? What is a drip? Hmm? What does it mean to have your tribal identity or properly identify as to whom your ancestors were? They tricked you into believing that you are Africans that came over here on a slave boat, and that's not true. You hear him talk about Noah and the flood, that Noah went to warn so many people and, and they ignored him. And when the disaster came, they was knocking on the ark, wanted to go in, and he's like, I can't, I, I'm sorry, I can't open, I can't let you in. If I let you in, all the animals in my family and all the people that believe me, they're going to die. So you're going to have to stay out there now. You're going to suffer. You understand? You sit here and you believe some of these Africans tell you all oh, the transatlantic slave trade and, and, and these pan-African communities, the biggest occult Masonic community. It's one of the biggest occult Masonic community that goes for the more the more science temple also as well. You see, these communities will give you some truths, but that key component that you need, they'll hold back from you. Like that Pan-African community made billions off of the Atlantic slave trade story and giving you that journey to go back to Africa, go to Ghana, all these places. And look, all the bones underneath the water. But what they're not telling you is that those bodies, those skeleton remains, it came from the Great Flood. That's where it came from. And it's called the Mud Flood Story. And the Mud Flood Story is a fact. It's not a conspiracy. Every government has documentations on the mud flood. Every government. You understand? Wake up. All of this is orchestrated to shut you down and turn you into slaves. Take away your rights so they can now openly come and knock on your door and take your sons and your daughters. They talk about, you hear them talk about, you heard them talk about land tax. And you must pay off your land tax in advance for years in advance. Well, you're indigenous. <clears throat> you're the original. Let me not just say indigenous. You are the first people. The descendants of the first people, the true heirs of this land. Off of this entire hemisphere that is called the Western Hemisphere. The entire Western Hemisphere is known as America. Whether you're in the Caribbean, whether you're in South America, North America, it is all known as America. Still to this very day, even in the, at the UN. What you call Jamaica is known as Zamaka and it's known as part of North America. North and Central America. It's America. You understand? Which makes you American Indians. Indians of the Western Hemisphere, West Indians. Meaning that Indians not taxed, as it says in their documents. So land taxes, all kinds of taxes, are not supposed to be for you. But you don't know that. And I and I and I can say this to you, and you won't even go look into it. I'm not saying the ones here in the chat, the ones here in the chat, they know they shit. My subscribers, they know they stuff, they know this for the most part. But for the ones who are stuck in these pan fried communities, y'all call yourselves pan African, and pan is the biggest pedophile of them all. It's named after Pan the pedophile. They'll tell you. No, brother, don't know. He's talking about we're Africans. But Africa didn't come to your rescue. What Africa did was use your plight to formulate contracts, business deals with CARICOM to rob your inheritance from underneath your feet. <coughs> Understand this. So land taxes that you're paying, you're not even supposed to be paying land taxes. It doesn't go for you. These policies that they're passing and mandates, it doesn't go for you. Because these folks are foreign entities on your land. So a foreign entity on your land cannot impose restrictions on you on your own land. 
It's in their own documents. But well, you want to play this game of Republicans and Democrat and PMP and labor right. That's there. That's the colonizer stuff. That's their stuff. So when you play a part in that, when you play a part into being a citizen, you put yourself underneath the rulership of those same people that you're calling a cult. You put yourself underneath their jurisdiction, their rule, their control. Okay. When one is using also the word indigenous, make sure you put the original or the first nations people or the first descendants of the first people. You understand? Because that whole indigenous day, no longer Columbus Day, indigenous day, that's a trick. Everybody and their mother going to claim indigenous. That's a trick. All right. Just wake up, people. That pastor literally told y'all exactly what it is. And they assassinated that man and said that that man was doing child sacrifice and all that. Did you see him do child sacrifice? The same person that ran away that didn't want to kill the cow. Why didn't they film it? Did, they, did, they, did, did you see them film it? They filmed a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of people being filmed in a graveyard. Yeah? But did you see him with those people? No, you did not see him with those people. Not saying that this man is not in these things or he was not into these things or not. All I'm saying is don't judge people off of things that you didn't see them do. Unless you know how to tell the signs of a person that's into the occult world where they're the ones that's doing the, the blood sacrifices of human beings. Like you'll have an artist that 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 was selling only 100,000 copies a year. And all of a sudden they reach 10, 20, 30 million. And then you hear, oh... Uh, their, their mother died or their best friend passed away or their cousin passed away. Cousin was hit by a car, got into a car accident. Oh, mother died of a heart attack. Father died of a heart attack. That's part of the ritual. You understand? Understand, man, if you're speaking on the occult, know what the occult is. If you're speaking on the whole political thing, know what all of that has to tie in with that. Know that what that has to do with the COVID ritual, because COVID is a ritual. It's a massive ritual on a massive level. Okay? Know what the letters mean in the Greek alphabet. Know what the numbers mean. Know what they, they tell a story. They're telling you. Know why the CDC had the word zombie apocalypse on their website and even created a chat room on their website. Know what the word zombie actually really means. Know why you see these people out here with the black bands on their finger and you're thinking that it's a wedding band. Know what that means. What does that go back to the Ouroboros and the Christ versus the Antichrist? You see them with the black band and you see them with the gold band. Know how to tell these people apart. Know what the tattoos mean. Not just of the butterfly, even the tattoos of some dots that you see on the body. Know what these mean. Let's wake up, folks. Wake up. Okay? Wake up. All right, with that being said, I gotta get up out of here. I um thank everyone for being here. Um, everyone that joined us. Uh much love, much appreciation to you guys. And you know, just peace, love, light. Don't forget to check out our podcast. It's called um Shatabi Media. It's spelled X T A B I M E D I A. Just Google it, it will come up. Um, it will come up on Encore. I think it's still being played now on Spotify, um, uh, Apple Podcasts, um, Google Podcasts. It's on all those platforms. It's on like eight, nine different platforms. 
Um, we just went up uh, in viewership in Australia, which is good. And we just went up even more in viewership in Canada. And the viewership in, um, in the UK has gone up as well. Uh, and the viewership in the States has gone up. Um, the viewership in the islands is more so still being censored, right? But in some islands, it has gone up. So we give thanks. We give thanks. We're in over 60 different countries internationally now. And we just I just give love and appreciation to the Most High. And I shout out to um, American Arawax, my brother, for um, the help that he has been providing also in making sure that this podcast grows, right? Um, so, you know, just much love, much respect to everyone that's in here. And let's keep trucking forward. And, you know, just wake up. Edu the way out of this is to educate your um your children properly. Make sure that your children know how to identify these folks out there because their children is going to come into this world and they're going to be friends with these people, especially if they go to college, certain high schools, right? These are the people that are teaching your children in the elementary schools now, in the high schools now. That's pushing the no gender thing and all of that. All of those things are rituals. They're all rituals. Okay? So, yeah, folks. Just, like I said, man. Um, just type in Shitabi Media, X-T-A-B-I-M-E-D-I-A. I... -E -D -I -A. I let me see if I have the um I don't have the um the access to type in the link right now through the StreamYard because I'm using my phone and it's not on the desktop levels on the um the mobile um option. So they don't give me the option to type it in. But yeah, so with that being said, I'll what I'll do is I'll put it in the comment section. I'll I'll pin it in the comment section. All right, peace everyone.